In last week's episode, we learned that we were entering one of the most productive periods of May 2019, and in fact, one of the most productive periods all year long. That started relatively on Friday the 11th. It goes just about out until Saturday the 18th. It's this week. It's time to take advantage of it. I'm Armand Diaz, as you know, and I'm here with your weekly forecast. So, Indeed, this is a week that uh, you want to take advantage of and you want to use it for things that need to be done for work as well as things that need to be done in your personal life. The theme this week is one of negotiation. It's one of bargaining, diplomacy, diplomacy. And as we go through the week, what we want to keep in mind is that the more prepared you are, the stronger your position is, the more you're aware of all the different possibilities, the better the outcome is likely to be. Yes, a little bit of dramatic flair is gonna be helpful as you go along, and we do have some pretty nice aspects to help that, but it's not gonna carry the day by itself. This is gonna be a time when there's gonna be some pushback, there's gonna be some testing. So you wanna be ready for it. As we get into the week, Monday is a great time to be ready for things. It's a great time to do the prep work. Uh, the moon is in Virgo. It might be a time for solitary work for many of us, although if you find other people that are on the same page, then very likely you can work together. It's a good time. We have a grand trine and fire signs on Monday and early Tuesday. <coughs> Excuse me. And the thing to do with this is to use it, a, a grand trine and earth signs. A grand trine and earth signs. And the thing to do with this, it's great for physical projects. So, you know, at work, it might be time for uh, preparing inventory. It's a good time for doing, you know, any sort of cleaning and organizing that needs to be done. It'd be a great time for gardening, literally building construction and things like that. Very much a physical world thing. It's not restricted entirely to the physical world, but that's kind of where we've got the focus on Monday and early Tuesday. So this is like a time to do prep work. Uh, Later on Tuesday, we get some kind of wonky energy. You know, the, the poor Libra moon, every month it's the same thing. The Libra moon wants balance and harmony and really isn't in such a great position to get it because of aspects to Saturn and Pluto and things like this. So it's a little bit, little bit tough for the Libra moon, especially at the beginning of the sign this time around. Uh, I think we're getting used to the pushback from Saturn and we can actually make some, uh, we can actually take advantage of that. Whereas uh, I think things are going to be a little bit tougher on Tuesday afternoon and evening. So that might be a time when you want to just sort of let things go. The moon isn't void anymore, but it's a, it's a good period of time to just sort of let things go. Uh, Wednesday morning, though, starts the time when there's a lot of connection, a lot of ability to... Uh, get things going in terms of negotiations. It is a good time to reach out to others if they're your clients, if they're your competitors, if they're uh, suppliers, if they're, and then of course, when it comes to socializing, other people in your life that you wanna connect with. We'll come back and get to sort of the romantic forecast at the end of this, but in general, Wednesday's a time to reach out, negotiate, uh, put your case out there. You want to be strong. Remember that. You want to be strong this week. You know what you need. You're prepared. You're prepared. You're strong. You're going to get a pretty good outcome. There's going to be pushback. There is going to be pushback. Pushback is part of the process. You know, not always, but most of the time, I think, and certainly very often, it's pushback. You want to go forward, you get a little bit of testing, a little bit of pushback, and you respond to that, and that's how you go forward. Thursday is the day when we're likely to need to sort of do some reconsideration after having thrown our ideas out there on Wednesday, Thursday. The moon is void essentially all day Thursday. So this is a time for you not to uh, push things too much, but maybe go back do a little bit of additional research, do a little bit of revising, regroup Thursday. Friday is the day. Friday is the day we have the sun trying Pluto as we're coming into the full moon. Uh, we have a Scorpio moon. There's a lot of dynamism, a lot of activity on Friday. We have Mercury trying Pluto, not the sun, Mercury trying Pluto. Uh, this is a time to be speaking out your truth. This is the time to be 
presenting your perspective to those in power. Mercury was trying to Saturn uh, essentially on Wednesday. That's another very good energy, but that was the that that was a little bit more of a negotiation thing. This is a little bit more of a demand thing on Friday. All right, so what we have then is Friday being a kind of almost sort of like the deadline day. It's certainly the time when we're advocating for things and pushing forward. Same general vibe continues on Saturday, whether or not it's a potential for work and things like that. Uh, it, the same general energy would prevail all the way up to the Scorpio full moon. Now, Friday and Saturday with the moon in Scorpio and full, we need to watch out for emotional volatility. Uh, any full moon has a certain amount of emotional reactiveness that is a potential with it. That's just part of the full moon. But in the sign of Scorpio, it's really dramatic. It's really intense. So you have to be very aware that this is a time when things could be uh, extraordinarily volatile. You've been working for however long, certainly the last week, to build things up, to put things in place, you don't want to see the whole thing come tumbling down. And that is a little bit of a risk, especially as Venus is conjunct Uranus at the same time. Venus has moved into her own sign of Taurus, which is good. First meeting is with Uranus. And that, you know, that could go either way, but under this, you know, emotionally reactive Scorpio moon, it's probably going to list a little bit more towards taking things apart. Although for some folks it could be putting things together. Sunday, we have the, actually starting Saturday night, we have the Sagittarius moon. Uh, an, an almost well, a full Sagittarius moon would be a really upbeat, outgoing, fun end to the weekend. The problem that we get, I think, is that we're still feeling that scorpionic energy. We haven't really shaken it off quickly enough. But maybe, maybe, maybe Saturday is good for that. Saturday night, Saturday night is good for that. Um, deeper into the night you go, the further away from the Scorpio full moon you get, the better it is. So Saturday's got some potential. Play it by ear and see how it goes. Doubling back to the beginning and talk a little bit about romance. Early in the week, we have Venus sextile Mars. That's a great sort of energy. You can sort of talk out a lot of relationship stuff. The asteroid Juno is a bit busy this week as well. The moon is aspecting it. The Juno's in Cancer. So uh, that can help relationships that are the more stable, the more stable relationships really benefit from that. Um, the thing, though, is that uh, the activity, the Venusian activity over the last couple of weeks, particularly last week, where uh, Venus was tangling with Saturn and Pluto, put some stresses and strains into some relationships. And as we hit the full moon and we have Venus conjunct Uranus, there's really a kind of a potential for things to... It, we see the results of what has happened over the course of the last couple of weeks, you know, so we've been building up towards it. We see the result. If there's been tensions and stresses, and here we have this emotionally volatile period of time, um, the tendency will be to explode things. So a relationship that's kind of been in a bit of a rocky place, watch out that you or somebody else doesn't say, oh, the hell with this. Or, you know, or, or maybe in fact it is time to say the hell with this. On the other side of the coin, uh, it can also be the sort of, well, we haven't been sure, we're not quite sure what's going on. You know what? Let's make a decision to go forward. So it could go that way as well. Um, if you're not at such a decision point, I would say that uh, the feel on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, is one of give yourself some space, give others some space, uh, try something a little bit new, break out of regular patterns, you know, uh, don't, don't feel that things have to be the way you sort of think that they have to be. You know, do what is enjoyable, do what comes up as being enjoyable in the moment. All right, there's your plan for the week. It's a very dynamic week. It's a time when you can really do quite a bit in personal life, career, really anything, creativity. Lots and lots of potential this week. You just got to be firm, be determined, be diligent, know what's going on, and don't let the full moon 
blow everything to pieces. Don't don't kick over the card table, so to speak. And we'll be back next week. I'll be back next week. And we'll be together next week talking about the following week. I'll see you then.